Hey, thanks for joining me for midweek. Um, hope your week is going well and that you're enjoying um, the great weather that we're having. And so um, today we're going to be in Isaiah, the 62nd chapter. Um, so, you know, sometimes in life, it seems like that we just face one hill after the other and that we're always uh, right after we get over one issue or problem, there's another one up in front of us. It seems like a never ending stream of things that we have to overcome or deal with in life. And a lot of all those bad things in our life come from uh, Satan because he doesn't want you uh, to be restored in Jesus. He doesn't want you to be an influence for Jesus. Um, he has a hand in those. Now, human sin does have a factor in all of that, uh, but some things, we've done nothing and we still face those things. And Satan wants to use those things uh, to wound us and to make us doubt uh, God's love and God's goodness. And so when we're facing those things, we need to continue to have hope. And I think Isaiah chapter 62, uh, verse 3, gives us some great hope for that. So let me set the stage of where this comes in. Israel's in a mess. Um, they've been conquered. Um, they're the laughing stock of that area. And um, they just, it just seems to be going on and on. And they're, they're beginning to say, where is God? Where is he? So Isaiah prophesies to them about what God is going to do in the future. And he says this, you will be a crown of splendor in the Lord's hand, a royal diadem in the hand of your God. Uh, there's a word in there, uh, that's, in a song, that, uh, hymn that we used to sing a lot, uh, diadem. I don't know when the last time you used that in a conversation, if ever. Um, but it's a word that means uh, kind of like a, a royal headband, uh, something that's very valuable. And um, that's what Isaiah is telling the Israelites and what God wants us to know is that uh, we are valuable in his hand, and he seeks us out. He wants to restore us. Uh, he wants to heal us. He wants to, to be an influence for him. Um, and sometimes when we begin to doubt, uh, we need to be encouraged that we are a crown of splendor in the Lord's hand and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. Um, and sometimes we don't feel that way. But that's how God sees us, and he wants us to restore us to that. And he seeks to do that. So um, the God of the universe thinks uh, that you're like a crown or a royal headband. And we need to see ourselves as that too, that God has value in us. Um, he valued us so much, he gave his son Jesus for us that we could live and be restored into a right relationship with him. So God is using not only the good things in our life, but also those things that are bad and that just uh, are hateful and tear us up and keep us down. God wants to restore us in those things. So we need to continue to walk toward God in all of those things and remember, God wants to heal your broken heart and he wants to restore your soul and the God of the universe is seeking you. And so may that be an encouragement to you this week as you maybe face some things. Hopefully you don't. Uh, but the next time that those things come up, I hope you'll remember Isaiah chapter 62, verse 3. Let me pray for us. God, life is hard, and um, it weighs our soul down, and uh, we carry a lot of burdens, uh, a lot of guilt, and I pray that um, as we yield our life to you, that you would uh, come alongside us. Thank you that you seek us, and that you want to restore us, and you want to refresh us, 
And Father, I pray that uh, you would just give us that sense um, this week and continue to remind us that we are a valuable crown in your hand. Thank you for seeking us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for restoring us. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me this week. Um, hopefully you'll continue to uh, plug into your uh, BFG and keep checking on one another. And remember that we have worship in person and online at 9.30 and 11. Well, until next time.